Hello everyone, today I want to show you my compact version of a hands-free minecart elevator. The advantage of minecart elevators is that they are 100% reliable even on multiplayer servers. They are 100% reliable because the position of the minecart is calculated completely server-side uh, in contrast to the player's posi position. There could be a difference between client and server-side, which makes um, yeah, elevators uh, unreliable. So, yeah, it's hands-free, that means you only have to click on the minecart, there's no button or anything else. The yeah, elevation process is started by this activating string here, which in turn would update the spotted piston here. So you just have to enter the minecart, then you would go up with this, those line block pushes, and the top, you don't have to do anything as well. This activator rail ejects you out of the minecart. And yeah, it's up to you how you get down. You could make a separate uh, fall shoot or go down uh, where you came from. But obviously, there's a slight disadvantage. On your way down, you would um, activate the string again, and then the minecart goes back up again. And also, the falling minecart uh, would activate the string once more. So there's a yeah, T flip flop in there, and the sequence uh, only sets the button piston back to the default state. And yeah, it's, uh, the system is one wide tileable. It's not, uh, no, sorry, not tileable, but it's one wide. It's obviously not tileable because of the slime blocks. So you could have one of those minecart elevators every second block. So if multiple people want to use the elevator at the same time, the system is really convenient because it's so easy to build. And yeah, it's very compact. So you could have them uh, very close next to each other. Okay, so let's take a look at the redstone. It's quite complicated, but it's easy to build because it's just one wide. So let's just go quickly through it. You don't really need a tutorial. You can make screenshots and just take a look at it. But yeah, quick, let's quickly go through. So obviously you need a string here and also some obsidian around the slime block. And I used snow layers here, so the minecart would stay in position and not glitch out when somebody runs into there. And yeah, let's start with the redstone. So we update this piston, this gets extracted. Then here's the first T flip flop. There's a normal item in the stropper, which is facing downwards. Then, yeah, compare the torch, and that's the sticky piston. Then here's a repeater on four. This one is also on 4, and this one is on 2. Then, yeah, torch, this repeater is on 1. Then, alternating torch tower here. This dropper also has an item in there. Then, there's another T flip flop, there's an item in this hopper. Then, this repeater is on 4, and there's an item in this dropper here. Then, this repeater is also on 4. This one is also on 4, and this one is on 3. And yeah, here uh, the pattern would repeat. So obviously the system is yeah very useful if to go up a long distance. And you only can have um, yeah, every uh, a station every s uh, seventh block. So there's a, a slight disadvantage. Um, if you, um, so you would need to uh, make sure where you uh, you would start and end, so you could only end uh, the system every seventh block. But um, this repeat this pattern here would you could um, repeat that as often as you want, and add um, yeah seven more uh, blocks uh, of elevation. So yeah, the, the, repeat, uh, the, the repeating pattern um, basically starts here with this torch. Um, going into this repeater on 4, then we have this alternating torch tower, and then the pattern would start again. So, um, yeah, this torch again, uh, going in the block, repeater on 4, and so on. But obviously at the top we have to change it up because of the activator rail, so that's how why the, yeah, the, p uh, the pattern uh, changes up. So always uh, after the last of those segments, you need to do it like this. So have this repeater on four. Uh, redstone dust powering this dropper with an item in there. Doesn't have to be any item. Doesn't have to be a non-stackable item. Then there's a uh, repeater on three, updating this block update detector, and also this um, uh, rail 
would update this block of detector and that gives short pulses to those sticky pistons pushing the slime block with the uh, activator rail on top. You need short pulses there um, because you, you can only push a rail on top of a slime block um, if you have a short pulse. And yeah, this torch would uh, power the activator rail uh, so the player is ejected. And obviously you need obsidian here because of the slime block and you always need some obsidian where the slime block touch blocks. Okay, that's pretty much it. Um, hope you this is useful for some of you. So it's a 100% reliable uh, elevation system. It's really good for, for servers and to yeah for uh, for longer distances. So it has to be at least um, 21 high or 28 even. And so it does so it would, would make sense for for longer distances. Okay, that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed this. Have a good day and goodbye.